main of Quan or Quan and using the, those rollers to spot whatever he wants for him. First target now coming up for Force Corsair. With that Force Corsair, he's gonna get some spot. Not gonna uh, be the victim of any Corsair shot so far. Another Photon Cannon coming down for Stork, so he's get, definitely being ready for a break that might be coming for his front. Hydroisk for Hydroisk move out. And the Zergis as well. Now Quan is gonna go for a break with the Zergis. Hydroisk all gonna start moving out. Don't know if Quan has enough. He takes down one cannon. There's a continue moving probes, get being pulled off the line, turn damage as he can. Most cannons have gone down, but Quan are being forced to move backwards, trying to micro. Hydra Skulls again, those probes doing a lot of damage. Uh, Zealous being taken down, all Zealous have been taken down, all those uh, Zealous have to be uh, one still one Zealous alive, also get taken down. There's probes getting engaged in the Hydra's fairly with Hydra's not being micro too well there by Quan. We should be able to take all these probes out. A lot of probes die there, wow, perfect by, there by Quan. He's killed the entire enemy. More Quan. Uh, be uh, Stork Ninja has bought himself some time to put up more cans, but those cans far too late. The Dragoon is going to get taken down. One more Zealot comes out of the gateway, but Stork has almost no grounds to ground force. He has used that Corsair to take out a lot of stuff, but all those cans are going to go down. And Quanro has in fact broken the front of Stork, and Quanro is going to take the first match here. I believe that he's Stork putting a gateway down inside of his main, putting some cannons down. He has that Corsair flying around, but now his natural expansion, Storks, has been completely neutralized. And Quarling is actually not going to go for the mains. He's going to stick outside this natural expansion, going to do as much damage as he can, uh, pumping more hydrates, just pushing them towards the front. He knows that he has this match as long as he keep up the, keeps up the pressure and doesn't let Stork equalize the economic situation. He's going to just start focusing on this next. Meanwhile, there's a Corsair flying around for. Uh, Quanro is gonna more Corsairs in the Dark Temple as well trying to run around gonna see if they can manage to kill the Overlords but Quanro of course smartly enough has Overlords in that second position ne Nexus goes down for Stork he's also gonna use some gateways there's some Corsairs flying around trying to kill some Overlords then gonna do enough first to go Temple now is out he's not gonna manage to do any damage there are enough Hydrisk on the ground to protect these Overlords as well as take out anything that is on the ground for Stork and Quanro with very very early pressure very very good aggressive enough that he's actually known for very impeccable timing there is gonna win that one Dark Templar is gonna be a little bit of a trouble Quanro is forced to wait for his overlord and Stork putting down a lot of cannons before his forge got taken out. He's going to try to hold on as long as he can, but I think Quanro at this point already has this match. Uh, Stork's going to have to do something miraculous to go get back in this. Quanro still, though, doesn't have a very good economic uh, position. Stork putting down another forge, so more cannons can be com coming. Uh, Quanro has quite a few Corsairs, does manage to take out one overlord there, and that's going to, again, slow down the spotting for those Hydras against those Dark Temples. The Dark Temples still going to stay in effect for a little while. Great way, meanwhile, goes down, so that's going to be only those cannons and two Dark Temple I mean, Corsairs. Is again trying to move in on those Hydrisks. Quan are trying to micro his Hydrisk around as well as he can. Again, slow pushing those overlords close. Meanwhile, a bunch of cannons being put down all over the place. Where Stork Store has nothing but a few cannons, probes mining, and a, a couple of Dark Templar. One and highly injured there on the ground. Stork just th trying to micro as well as he can. Has three Corsairs on the ground. I think actually two at this point. I think one of them is taking down this Hydrisk of force. I take everything there is on the ground. Quan, meanwhile, has a huge backup force at his main. He is getting his Spire up. One down Tracker Mine has been taken down, the second down Templar almost getting down. Those Hydras now trying to focus on that on that Templar Archives, but there are no gateways imminent. So Quan is just slowly trying to move in with those overalls. Hydras again are gonna attack from a distance, try to take out all those forces as much as he can. There are, is a still Dark Templar there inside, but I'm not gonna be able to do anything with those cannons are the only thing holding Quan off from doing as much damage as he can. Corsairs moving in, do take out one of the overlords, but and one Corsair does survive, but the other overlord still is there in position for him. And Stork is just delaying as much as he can, trying to put up more cannons, but those cannons are all gonna be focused fire on Corsair, meanwhile, gonna move in and try to take out this overlord. The overlord might actually go down, but apparently Quan is just completely ignoring the overlord. Which is going to continue to come down now moving finally back and Overlord is indeed going to go down so oh, oh, Stork miraculously holds Stork has held his forward position he has held his natural and Quanro has nothing there but a few hydra risks Stork miraculously has held and now he's putting down a second gateway still has those cannons around <laughs> Stork though in serious trouble there Quanro Still has a large force, which I think moving out is trying to micro around is some Hydras, but it doesn't have any Overlords around to scout. Of course, does not have the Lord speed upgrade. Quanro, I believe, is, however, putting down a third, is, uh, third base at the 7 o'clock. Or at least getting ready to put down a third base, and this already has uh, such a good economic position. Spire coming up, and as soon as the Spire's gonna up, he's gonna have some mutilists flying around over the place. Maybe some Scourge to take out any random things. A pile will be put down by Storks. Storks trying to reestablish his natural expansion. Sit over Dune again coming up, so Storks is gonna try to redo this all over again. And Quanu moving around with some overlords, spotting the Dark Templar, last Dark Templar, oh, better we met, oh no, gets, you guys taken out, I thought he was out of scouting range, but he wasn't, one random overlord's gonna get taken down there by that Corsairs, that's gonna, I don't think that's gonna really alter anything, some Zealots now out there for Stork is gonna try to put up a natural expansion, can just try to do as well as he can. So, uh, Temple Archives again coming up, so again gonna try to get some Dark Archons out there, has putting up a Photon Cannon at the natural, 
but I think that might actually be taken down by those Hydras that are moving in before it even comes up. Those Zealots are going to try to engage. Those Hydras are not going to be Zealots going to run forward instantly re retreat. The cannon's not going to be put down. The Prote is going to die. Nothing but a few Zealots and cannons defending. Temple Archives almost up. He's going to try to get some Dark Temple up there going again. Zergling, <laughs> cannon fodder, and some Hydras following up. Trying to do as much damage as they can. Being hit by some cannons. Microing around. Trying to engage as well as they can. Quanro. I think at this point already has his map. Now, Mikering his Hydra is moving in down, downwards into position of those gateways, and that's not going to prevent. I don't think Stork has anything to prevent that. He's going to try to flank around with some Zealots. He has six Zealots around. Going to see how well Quano's Micro is going to be here. He's going <laughs> to dance him around out of the range of those Zealots. And those Zealots, of course, not having any speed, being very slow moving, really can't fight against those Hydras. Hydras can, of course, be Micro Daryl. First gateway now goes down. Stork delaying so long. Quano, of course, doing a very good job getting an high economics while all this is going on. Stork has just been mining off one base, trying to hold off as long as he can. He has been doing a fairly good job, but good micro overall there by Quano. He is taking this match. Qu Stork putting down even more cannons. He's trying to hold on. He knows he has to win this, but uh, in his favor, he does have two more two more matches that are going to be coming up. They're not going to be on such Zerg favorite maps, and I think on those maps, Stork just might have a chance. Quano again moving in with more hydro is going to take out even more cannons. That's going to focus on this last gateway, and I think with that last gateway, Stork should j even... J Start thinking of GGing at this point. Last Zealot gonna come out. It's gonna get microed up and taken out. Ooh, Zealot! Ooh, manages to get one kill in revenge for Ire. GG coming from Stork. Very, very nice overall early aggression from Quanro. Takes the match away from Stork. Stork simply. Wow, I didn't actually think Quanro would be able to break the front. I didn't think he had enough, but Stork overall <laughs> just not reacting very well to that. Uh, Quanro positioning himself very well, attacking all the cannons, taking them a lot, and then focusing on the ground forces overall, doing a good job. Stork looking a little bit crushed there, knew he should have been able to play a longer game. And uh, at a longer game, I think actually Stork might have equalized the position, but he tried to hold on as long as he can, almost managed to, especially when he killed that overlord, he managed to delay his demise for a very long time when he managed to destroy all those overlords. Quanro not microing everything quite as well, he ignored that last overlord. If he had decided to instead take out all those Corsairs that were killing it, he would have won the match a little bit earlier. But overall, good game by Quanor here. Takes out Stork in the first game. I said Stork would take him out 2-1. We're gonna see whether Stork has the, testic the testicular fortitude needed to do that. Ranching out.